And our next read aloud is going to be The Face in the Frost by John Belairs. This is not part of his young adult series. This is a book that he wrote in 1969. I think I've read it. Um, I don't have any strong memory of it. I know it's about two wizards. But Ursula K. Le Guin says it's authentic fantasy by a writer who knows what wizardry is all about. And we get a wizard on the cover. And another blurb. One of the best fantasy novels to appear since The Lord of the Rings. I guess we're going to find out. Lynn Carter says, I have read three absolutely first-class fantasy novels since The Lord of the Rings. One of them is The Face in the Frost by a writer of amazing brilliance and charm named John Belairs. The tale is rich, hilarious, inventive, filled with infectious good humor, grisly horrors, slithering evil, bumbling monarchs, and various and sundry menaces of the supernatural variety. And Ursula K. Le Guin has a longer blurb, lively, witty, unpretentious. The face in the frost takes us into pure nightmare before we know it, and out the other side. This is authentic fantasy by a writer who knows what wizardry is all about. Okay, we do have a little bit of a blurb here. In the roadside towns, the wizards picked up stories and rumors. One man told how frost formed on, win on the windows at night, though it was only the middle of September. There were no scrolls or intricate fern leaves, no branching overlaid star, star clusters. Instead, people saw seasick wavy lines, disturbing maps that melted into each other and always seemed on the verge of some recognizable but fearful shape. At dawn, the frost melted away in the same way. At first, two eye holes formed, and then a long st steam-lipped mouth that spread and ate up the wandering white picture. Voices rose from empty walls, and men locked their doors at dusk. But Prospero and Roger Bacon refused to be daunted, although their road would take them to an end that mirrored their beginning to uncover the power of the face in the frost. And here's an illustration of, I think, one of the wizard's houses with a hippo weather vane. Those are done by Marilyn Fitzchin. Like I said, this was written in 1969. And John Belairs dedicates the book to the memory of his mother. And I will see you in the prologue.